far left, there says the blue Perdos. It is Marshkello. And below him, that's the purple Zerg. It is Loser. And below Loser, as the green Zerg, it is Hard AI 8. And above Marshkello, as the orange Perdos, it is Talden. At the top right, as the uh, the yellow Terran, it is AI seven. <laughs> and then uh, on the far right, as the teal Terran, it is Acosta. And below Acosta, as the purple, not purple, as the pink Perdos, it is Vegasuna. And below her, as the red Zerg, it is Tiglath. All right. <laughs> City, you're rooting for Hard AI7? Hard AI7's had a hard life, all right? He's already suffered a worker rush by Acosta. And Acosta, actually, no, Acosta suffered a <laughs> He's in a harder life. Down the six workers. What the heck? <laughs> all right, Talden over here, going ahead and getting himself an expansion. Right off the bat, 15 Nexus, I, I'm guessing. It seems like it. Probably not, though. No, it's not 15. It's actually uh, just a normal Nexus timing. And Marshkello getting some cannons, defensive cannons, already at the front. Yeah, I, was, uh, I wasn't I was sure if you wanted to join in, Tiare, to observe, but you weren't around. I didn't see any a response from you. And we have Loser over here getting a very early pool and link speed on the way. And uh, getting his expansion later, Hard AI 8 is over here on one base, being a noob and getting himself a Bane Nest and a Roachhorn on one base. I'm not sure what he's planning. And Tiglath over here getting himself an expansion. He looks like he's playing fairly soon. He's going to get himself a early uh, spine crawler because right next to him is Mega Suna's expansion. We're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a of a neighborly war here. And Acosta's over here kind of suffering. He's just now getting his barracks down, unfortunately for him. Megasuda getting herself a uh, second gateway, though. And she has an adept on the way to help defend her natural expansion, his natural pylon. And Hard AI 7 over here getting their second barracks and just now getting their orbital command. They only have one marine to hold the line. Oh, we have ourselves some action, some Ling Bane action between. Uh, Loser and uh, Hard AI 8. Hard AI 8 did hold off against Loser, but at the same time, a Stalker does take down. Talon Stalker does take down Cassidy's uh, Overlord, but is it going to recall? And nope, no recall. The Stalker does die, and the energy is wasted. Marshkill over here defending with the cannon against uh, Hard AI 8. Hard AI 8 is appearing everywhere that they shouldn't be. And Cassie's getting a uh, third base thanks to Hard AI 8 not getting their natural expansion. And now we have Cassie coming on in. He's moving on in. And the Bane does not make a connection. Yet. Oh, does make a connection with one Ling, but Cassie is going to kill all the Lings. And now Hard AI 8 is going to be attacked. Does put down the Spire, though. And Cassie is killing the Queen and is attacking the economy. Doing terrible, terrible damage to these drones, but not sure if Cassie has enough lings. The drones are kind of overpowering, and now we have some reinforcement lings. At the same time, Tiglath is getting themselves uh, their third and fourth gas, and we have some lings and a spine crawler attacking. Oh, I didn't realize that Megasuna actually lost her natural expansion to some spines and lings. I was too busy focusing on hard AI 8's fight with Loser, and. Uh, yeah, here we go. We the spine is nibbling. Well, it's it's poking at the gateway. It's not really nibbling. You can't really nibble when you're just a freaking big old whatever the hell you're supposed to be. And now these uh, the spine is doing some pretty good damage, whacking the top of the depth's head. Oh, and the links killed their own tumor. And Cassie does take down Hard AI 8's base, and Hard AI 8 is dead. They're dead in the water. Don't know what else is gonna go on. Talon over here actually sneaking a gold base at the same time. Mega Suna is 
defending herself the best that she can. She's stuck on one base against the, the neighboring Zerg. And uh, these links are going to come on over and harass. The drones are actually pulled to help defend against uh, Megasuna's attack, actually. Her defense counterattack, whatever you want to call it. And the spine does go down. We have four queens to help defend against Megasuna's onslaught. Party AA8 was defeated. And uh, Akasa over here getting themselves a third command center, a natural command center, getting themselves a few barracks. Megasuna over here, though. On the retreat, trying to get back as back to her wall. The shield battery is going to do a fairly good job at keeping these units alive. And Tickleff is actually forced to retreat after taking two stalkers down. And once again, Halden uncontested. Not a whole lot of opposition in his, in his end. And hard AI7 again as well. Just like Tickleff, uh, no, sorry, just like uh, Halden, uncontested. Not a whole lot of opposition ever since the beginning. These two spines are poking away at these adepts and these stalkers. There's just too much shit here, actually. There's a lot of lings, queens, and spine. Well, there's one spine left. And Megasuna is holding on for dear life against this attack. We do have these uh, a, a nice surround, actually, on uh, Megasuna's units. She does lose a fair chunk of her army. She's doing a fairly good job at defending herself, though. At the same time, Hard AI7 versus Acosta. Hard AI7 is actually killing Acosta's army. There's really not a whole lot to do to defend themselves. Who has stream sound on in game? So I'll give them all the details. What do you mean? I'm muted. I'm muted in Discord. So, um, <laughs> we do have a lot of adepts, though, from Megasuna here. We got some nice back and forth. <sighs> Excuse me. The adepts are shading away. Not sure if uh, it's going to be enough. While at the same time, Acosta is actually going to lose their main command center. They've already lost one command. What the fuck? I asked. And uh, Acosta does die to the AI. GG. Well played. Oh, but well, here we go. We have Marshkello fighting off against uh, fight, uh, harassing Talden and uh, is forced to retreat, actually. Talden has two immortals and Marshkello does blink back into the main. Cassie, though, secretly on his fourth base now. It looks like it's Cassie's turn to be uncontested. And now we have ourselves a nice defense of Stalkers and Cannons versus the Stalker Immortal. Megasuna over here with all of their adepts skating away. Doing uh, uh, Now there's actually Swarm Hosts actually from uh, Tiglath. And surprise, he's still only on two base. His base is over here that he could have yoinked already. And now Hard AI7 is getting themselves a natural expansion in the middle of the map some, for some reason. As they're clearing out Acosta's base. Marshkill over here defending against the Stalker Immortal at the front. Some nice micro with the Warp Prism. But Calden cannot go up the ramp as easily. There's just too much shit at the top of Marshkill's ramp. And now we have a Swarmos dropping the Locust into Megasuna's main. Megasuna is starting to mine out fairly quickly though. So she's got to get herself another base really soon or she's going to end up getting mined out and dying. And now we have Hard, Hard, now we have Hard AI7 over here attacking, deciding to actually dropping some turrets and then running away like a coward. But no, here they come with their Reaper. Nope, they're running away like a coward again. Still, Locus over here doing terrible, terrible damage to these adepts. And uh, <laughs> GG, well played, Megasuna taps out. Talden also at the same time busting Marshkello's front door. Don't call her an AI7 coward. I will call them whatever I want. They run away from, uh, from they ran away in fear. Cassie over here though just fortifying their base, getting themselves a hive, sitting pretty, getting a lot of mutas out on the map. Talden this time he only has one carrier so if Cassie were to harass Talden, he could essentially kill Talden. And actually, the mutas 
might find the gold base. They might find the gold, and if that were the case, Cassie could kill Talden before Talden gets too big. He's got his second and third carrier in production. Blings are going to find Talden's stalkers. The Mutas are actually not part of the army yet. Not sure what Cassie's doing. And, uh, yeah, Swarm Host over here. Just uh, clearing out Megasuna's base. Mutas are actually matchup boxing over the stalkers. And Cassidy is taking down all of Talon's ground army. There he does meet though, Talon's carriers. There are a decent amount of mutas here though. Cassidy could kill all the uh, the carriers. Oh, but he's attacking. He's, he was attacking a gateway there for a second. Mutas are actually getting picked off, and Cassidy loses all the mutas. And Heart AI Seven is here to help Cassidy slash Talon. He did take out all the mutas, but he's also attacking Talden at the same time. So oddly enough, is a three-way uh, <laughs> a three-way jerk fest. But Hard AI Seven decides this is too much for him to deal with. Too many carriers and retreats, and Cassidy's army. Actually, his Zerglings did clear out uh, Talden's mineral line in his main, but Talden is rich as hell. You know he is with that gold base. Cassidy getting himself a fifth base though. And now Swarmhose clearing out Megasuna's last structure in her main and uh, hard AI7, the only AI left, but a true homie as he is still in this game. Oh, well, they're not he or she, they are they. So they are a true homie as they are still in this game. Uh, Tiglath getting themselves a fourth base at the gold and um, surprised Cassie didn't take, uh, take advantage of that. We have Vitas from Cassidy going. To, they're going to spot this gold base and they're going to clear out the mineral line fairly quickly here. There's not a whole lot to defend this gold. Uh, the probes do get recalled out, but um, they, you know they appear over at the natural. But Talon, for once, is going to go back down the two bases possibly. But the carriers are here, and uh, Mutas versus carriers. Mutas not doing too hot, especially when they are just targeting the interceptors. But at the same time. There was a fame bust in the natural of Talden's base, and um, a lot of pro a lot of workers did go down at the same time. Talden is actually getting pretty beaten by Cassidy here, and uh, not sure. Talden does have a sizable army. He could still he still has um, a lot going for him in this game, despite having now a really 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 low worker count, and. Um, yeah, Marshkel is still in this though. Even though he may be down to two stalkers and two gateways, he's still in this game. He's not out. He has not tapped out. Talton does have a fourth base. And now Hard AI7 unfortunately is starting to get harassed by Tiglath, getting their their mineral line cleaned out, getting some of their units cleaned out as well. And now Talton is on the offensive. He's going to counterattack Cassidy. And unfortunately for Cassidy, I don't think he has enough corruptors yet. He uh he may have Overset this bounds once again against Talden before he should have. Hard AI7 is getting another beating. Oh, actually, Hard AI7, that was a very clutch move with that turret. Did derp out a lot of the locusts. But at the same time, Talden is taking down Cassie's spores. And, uh, oh, but at the same time, <laughs> Cassie is counterattacking Talden's main base, the Ling run by. There's a lot going on right now. This was cleared out, but yeah, Talden's main base is getting decimated. Cassie's main base is getting decimated, and now Talden has to make a decision. Does he defend his bases? He's actually getting attacked at all of his bases at the same time by Cassidy. And Talden says, I'm going to bring only half my army back. Oh, but he's going to be, uh, he's going to meet up with uh, Marshkello's stalkers while he was trying to retreat to his, map, his main. And uh, there's not a whole lot for Talden to go back to. He does lose all of his carriers that was at Cassie's base. Cassie may have done it. He may have taken down all of Talon's carriers that were uh, at least brought him down to a... Actually, holy shit. Talon only has one Nexus and one probe left. That is... Uh, Talon was looking like he was going to be in a good position once again, but now Cassidy, he's in a very, very good position. He's now pissing all over Tiglath's hatchery, and now he's going to go into the main of Tiglath. And Tiglath does not really have a whole lot to defend against this. He has Lings and Swarmhost, 
He's about to lose his greatest fire and his hive. And uh, Cassidy, he's thrusting his uh, Zerg dick in everybody's face as he's attacking everyone at once. Well, take left, killed AI7's natural expansion, and all of these Marines are forced to retreat from AI7. Saw a few stalkers over here attacking Talon's carriers, but there's just too many carriers for him to deal with. But Tiglath does have some infestors. He does have a Hydra nibbling, uh, well, spitting all over the corruptors, but there's not a whole lot. And uh, Marshkello is actually attacking Cassie's main base at the same time. Marshkello making the move. He needs to do something to get back into this game. And Talon, he's slowly getting his economy back up. He did. He's actually in an okay spot tech-wise. Not really in the grand scheme of everything. Talon does not have a whole lot of anything in his favor, but he did not lose his tech. He still has carrier production available. And actually now, Cassie, we, we have ourselves a Zerg on Zerg. Cassie versus Tiglath. Swarm Host versus Corruptors. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Corruptors do not always shoot down. <laughs> and now we have the Locust coming on in here, killing all the Spores, all the Spines, and possibly all the Drones too. That's a lot of Locusts for Cassie to deal with here. But at the same time, we have more shit up here that he has to kill. This base got cleaned up. Holy moly. And now we have the, Zerg, the, the Zergling Hydra coming in to finish the, the job clean up this uh this base cassie's brought down the two bases actually three he's brought down the three bases here while at the same time these corruptors are doing lots of damage to take left he did lose his main base he did lose his greater spire ai7 though they are still in this they have a third bit no that's actually their natural again they rebuilt their natural they want to get themselves a third but every, all the humans are too busy killing each other that the AI might actually end up winning this game by technical knockout. <laughs> Not everyone else knocking each other out before the AI can. And actually, AI7 making the push on Tiglath's base. And, uh, yeah, we have to... Tiglath has to retreat. These Vipers are getting picked off. There's a lot of Marines, and these Swarmos actually are not... They do not have their Locusts yet. AI7 proving that they are a force to be reckoned with but here come the fungals and those are some nice fungals on the marines and uh the oh well he uh he gave the ai some uh, anti-air defense but the a ai army does get cleaned up here and uh ai7 though down to one mining base and uh, talden down to one mining base he does not he's trying to get himself a new base here Tiglath versus Marshkello now. Marshkello deciding, hey, I'm, you know what? Everyone's been bullying me. I'm going to bully them back. And he's going to pick off Tiglath's gold base here. You know, one more hit. Just, there we go. Nicely done. Oh, but Marshkello, you don't have high ground. You got to get out. Get a blink away. Blink, blink, blink. And we have a lot of lurkers now from Cassidy here. Marshkello, he's doing a pretty good job at pissing everyone off here. Same with Talden. Same with Cassidy. AI7, though. They know what the secret to free-for-alls. Stay low. Keep your head down. Don't let anybody know that you exist. And maybe, just maybe, you can win the game. And now Locust, not Locust, Stormhose are actually blocking all the Stalkers in. In exchange for his... Oh, wait. We have a three-way fight. Stormhose versus Stalkers versus Hydra's Lurkers. And now we have... AI7 walking past. Oh, well, Reaper harassing Tiglass uh, drones, surprisingly enough. We have, uh, let's see. Talon over here, he's struggling again, so he's slowly actually creeping back into this game. Marshkello, mind out, though. He needs to get himself back into this. He needs to get himself a natural expansion and get to mining. We have a lot of locusts coming over here to attack a siege tank. And, uh, yeah, this uh, ground army is going to actually get cleaned up. AI-7, though, losing some workers, drops a missile turret to try to, or uh, auto turret here. Oh, but now we have lurk lurkers. Oh, they're they're on hold position. Tiglath does not know. And then there goes the fire. Oh, no. All these Hydras and Lurk, uh, Sormos are getting annihilated. Holy crap. Tiglath loses almost all of his army right there. <laughs> oh, no. 
and Talden gives a sad face. He wasn't even part of this fight, but it's like as if he knows. And uh, Piglet lost almost all of his swarm hosts to those lurkers. That was a dirty, dirty move by Cassidy. And AI7 over here knows to piss off Piglet some more because uh, he's been getting swarm hosted like crazy. And Tiglath calls GG. The Lurkers were just too good. Lurker, Muta, Corruptor was just too much for Tiglath to deal with. He lost half his army. And now we have Talden over here. He's coming back with more carriers. And actually now this is the perfect time for the carriers to return. Because there's just not a whole lot that can shoot up. Except for these spores and a few Corruptors. Cassie lost his Corruptor count earlier. And uh, oh wait, actually no that's a lie. These corruptors still do exist. I was just playing. I'm totally paying attention to what Cassidy's got. At the same time, Marshkill over here, he's checking out what Talman has economically. He does have Blink. He does. He might get that High Templar. He does get the High Templar. Nicely done. And, um, yeah, carriers are slowly returning into this game. I don't know if Talman is going to be able to come back, though. We do have Cassidy claiming himself a new... Actually, Cassidy's now in six bases. Cassie's by far the biggest threat to everyone. And um, and by everyone, I mean Talden and AI7 and Marshkello. It, well, Marshkello's kind of dead. He only has a uh, a few structures left. AI7, though. Still in this game. Somehow, AI7. And Marshkello, actually, he still has a probe. If he puts down something real quick... Oh, he was defeated. The last structure for Marshkello. And once again, Marshkello survives. <laughs> he ends the game with just one worker. I don't know how he does it, but he somehow manages to do it every time. But yeah, Cassie, he's on six bases. Technically, mining only off of two, though. These other two, they're only like half bases. So I guess we could say three base, Zerg. Talden over here, though. He's getting himself his... Uh, his third base. This is not a base anymore. This is just where he's hidden all of his tech. And Talden's trying to make it come back slowly. Um, but he's going to have to deal with Cassidy's Corruptor count. I'm not sure what the upgrades are. I'm sure that Cassidy's been uh, working really, really, really hard. Oh, well, actually, Cassidy's getting himself a seventh base. I was going to say Cassidy's doing really hard to keep his upgrades going. Both of them want to keep their upgrades going. Um, but yeah, Cassidy's establishing establishes ugh, I cannot talk establishing himself a seventh base at the gold it's gonna be uh quite a quite a big deal for everyone to deal with it but uh, well Talden and for AI7 to deal with and for some reason AI7 feels like it's very necessary to hold this position in particular in the middle of the map why didn't you make him elite I figured that elite might be too hard for uh like it like it might they might interfere too much he was easy when i first met him <laughs> Come. we're grateful you didn't make him cheater i mean if he was cheater it would probably be kind of funny and now cassie's clearing out pig last base it looks like cassie may be wanting to take these last bases over here and claiming there's actually quite a few mineral bases that are uh untouched like these two over here fairly untouched And now we have these, uh, the last of, well, we have Cassie's air army now going across the Talon's gold base and possibly going to go ahead and clear it out. There's not really a whole lot for him to go after. Uh oh, Cassie's on the hunt. He's looking for the carriers and he's going to spot one. He's going to yoink. Maybe. Nope. Just instant kill. And I don't know if Talon's going to have enough to deal with this. He does use the feedback on all the Vipers, but... That is the least of his worries because the corruptor count is actually pretty big and the Yeah, the corruptors are actually killing all the interceptors. There's just too many corruptors here and Talton's carriers are going to get cleaned up here And at the same time AI7 making the push against Cassidy clearing out these static defense AI7 doing terrible terrible damage to the spines uh, As you can see there are no spines here. So AI7 did a good job you know, we're giving them credit for that. AI7, though. Not sure what they're going to do. They're, they're, 
they're on zero base mining. They might be uh, cheating with some income. I'm going to have to check the replay later and see where their income's coming in from. Make sure the AI is not cheating. Talden over here sneaking a hidden base. Trying to stay in this game as long as possible. Cassie, though, um, clearing out the gold base. The gold base actually doesn't mean anything for uh, Talden anymore. But Cassie is on the hunt looking for whatever is remaining on the map. And uh, these bases were cleaned up. Welp, I'm dead. GG, Talden says and Talden taps out he does not have anything to come back to this game but let's see if it's a fake GG he could be fake GG for all we know if Talden taps out it's just Cassidy versus AI7 and uh, I don't know if Cassidy's gonna be able to deal with AI7's army he does have a siege tank looks like it's a fake GG I agree Cassie's Lings on the hunt. They are actually going to find Talon's hidden base. And, um... Yeah. Talon has nothing he can do to stop this. These Zerglings are crackling. They are killing everything very quickly. Alright. Talon calls Rude. These mutas fly on in. They find AI7 and how AI7 is somehow still in this game. Talon, though, he's not dead. But he's also not alive either. And looks like Cassidy might be deciding to put the uh, the nail in the coffin to AI7. Corruptors over here clean up the, uh, the command center. And Tom's asking for a, a truce. AI7 is going to be upset if he loses this. AI7, he, uh, he's been training for this match, but unfortunately for him... He's gonna end up lose. He's losing to these Zerglings. I don't think AI7 can do it. I don't think uh, AI7 has the means to stay in this game. Cassie, though, he's got his Mutas and his Corruptors flying around on the hunt. These Lings are clearing out AI7's base. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, AI7 is out. There's just nothing that they can do. They can't produce anything. They don't have the money, I guess, somehow. And now Cassie's looking for Talon's mining bases. He's found one of them, the most saturated of them all. But here we go. We have some Archons over here. We have some Void Rays. And unfortunately, a carrier does get picked off almost instantaneously. There's just too many Corruptors here. And Talon is forced to... Uh... Well, he doesn't really have anything that he can do. Like, And Talon GG's out. Well played. AI7 is all that remains. There's one depot. You gotta kill that depot, Cass, to end it. <laughs> GG. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video just now. If you wouldn't mind clicking that like, subscribe, and the bell notification down below, really appreciate it. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter and Twitch.